Monday. It's time for another crafty tip. I just woke up and I don't even think I brushed my hair. I brushed my teeth though. And I'm drinking my little uh, morning beverage, which is actually something the doctor of the VA told me to drink, which is, and I'm going to pass this on to you. He said it's, it's the, my cardiovascular doctor and it is to help lower my cholesterol. And I don't know if it's going to work. I've been trying this now for I did lower my cholesterol. I digress so many times. Zing, 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 zing. So I'm in the last crafty video, squirrels. Yeah, okay. So I have high cholesterol naturally. Part of it is because my good cholesterol is very, very high. But my bad cholesterol has been creeping up over time and that's just genetics. They want me to lower it. So I cut out a lot of red meat and I lowered it by 10 points and they were all, yay! in three months and I, I walked a 5k so I did training for that amazing what that'll do for you <sighs> exercise <laughs> it works this is amazing Luna mostly water a little bit of pomegranate juice but I use pomegranate juice with either blueberry or cherry juice in it because I like that better because I don't like pomegranate juice by itself and then I put the, the stevia in it because the pomegranate juice is just too tart for me. And then these are black chia seeds, like chia, 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 chia pet. tablespoon, that's it. And then you put it in there overnight and you let it plump up and it's kind of thick and it's yummy. And I talked about this on my Facebook page already. I adore it. I love it. I drink it. I would drink it even if it weren't good for me. And I don't know if it's good for me. I'm going to find out soon enough. But actually, since I started drinking this stuff, lost weight. 20 pounds. 25 pounds. Which is actually a good thing. Because he said it would make me less hungry. And it had. Now, what I want to talk to you about <laughs> to my crafty tip of the day. Creative clutter. Do you have creative clutter? Or do you have clean and orderly? I have creative clutter in my world and creative clutter works for me. Creative clutter for me is my desk is not just plain old where you look out and see orange because as you can tell looking in the background my desks are orange. I have things laid out on my desk. See I have my little essential oil. I have things on my desks all over all the time all the time. I have this out all the time, which is my catch-all for die cuts that are left over, rhinestones, little stickers, out of sight, out of mind. You don't know you have them, you don't use them. All of my cutters are within easy reach for me because that's the way I work. I have my acrylic brushes here. I even have an electric pencil sharpener plugged in right here. I have my color wheel handy, a boon, and in my boon I have things that I use all the time. My watercolor brushes, I have pencils and pens, these little things that are sticky on the ends that pick up sequins, my bone folder, pointy thing to push out stuff from die cuts, gel pen, regular pencils, and ink pens, charcoal pins, my shimmer mist that I love so much, my invisible care to remind me to use it. I have my glossy accents and this because they need to stay upside down to make sure that they're already ready to use. My scissors, Tim Holtz blenders, a ruler, a palette knife, tweezers, these tweezers that that hold themselves a wire cutter because you never know when you're gonna need a wire cutter. This, it's an old mouse pad Flamingo mouse, flamingo mouse pad. I go, I get confused going left and right on the camera, which I use as a stamp pad. It works perfectly. It's the same thing. My brush to sweep off everything. I found pictures to inspire me of my mom and my dad, and me and my nephew in my first Miata. I drove a Miata for 20 years. I had two different ones, red Miatas. They were so much fun. I have flamingo head. I have a container of flamingo die cuts. A super heavy white gesso and clear gesso and matte gel. Oh, got here. Something that came in the mail for me. A card. 
and ATC somebody made for me. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. What do you have laying around? Things I haven't picked up yet, but that inspire me. Extra card stocks. Over here I have all my pens and pencils. And I on purpose had this made with all my pens and pencils here that I could reach and grab on purpose. To some people this might be non-creative clutter, but to me it's creative clutter. And I have in front of me where I can see all my stamps and dies and card stocks. This makes me happy. And since I actually, if I put my glasses on, I can actually read what every one of the, the drawers says. So I know what's in my craft room. Do you have that system in place or not? You let me know. Do you have creative clutter or do you sanitize and clean up every single thing that's in your room? Because me, me and my daughter have class. We do homeschool. This is her pencil. The dog got mine. I put it too close to the edge. So you tell me, do you have a creative clutter in your creative space or do you just tidy up everything all the time? What's your, what's your mode operandi? Anyway, have a good crafty day. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Hit the happy button with the, hit the subscribe button. That's what I meant to say. And uh, yay!